Hello, this is Mark from My Keys to Music. Thanks for joining me on this video. Today we're talking about a song called A Whiter Shade of Pale from the group Prokel Harem. This song is going to be emulated on the Nord Stage 3. In fact, you just heard a snippet of it there. Uh, we are talking about the B3, which is the Hammond B3 classic organ being emulated on a Nord Stage 3. Now, it doesn't matter what kind of keyboard you have as far as a Nord goes, you can set your drawbar settings to this, and it should be very close to the original. All right, with that said, in a minute here, we're gonna take a look and I'll show you uh, the specific settings to, to work with. In the meantime, I wanna say thanks for being a subscriber. Thanks for uh, joining me on the channel. We talk about Nord keyboards mostly. It won't be the only thing we talk about going forward, but right now that is pretty much the only thing we've talked about. And uh, I have a great uh, passion for these Nord keyboards. I've learned a lot about them. I also wanna say that this video is inspired by a person named Mike Campbell. He's a subscriber and asked a simple question, which is what are the settings for a wider shade of pale on the B3 for the Nord Stage 3? That's largely why this video is being made, but I figured uh, Mike is not the only one who might want to know this, so here it is. So the setup for this program is a little easier than some of the ones we've done in some of the other Discovery videos. This one just involves the B3 at this time. I'm going to be demonstrating it here on my Nord Stage 3, but feel free to follow along and use your Electro 5, your Electro 6. You could even use the Nord C2D organ. If you have an organ on your Nord keyboard, this should work. All right, so let's do this now. I'm going to hold the Shift button and click Program Initialize here on my Nord Stage 3. Mine is the original Nord Stage 3, so my con configuration might be a little different than yours if you're using a newer Stage 3. Your Program Initialize button might be up here under the Transpose button. Uh, they've actually reconfigured a few of the buttons and a few of the settings. Uh, they're located in a different place with the newer version of the Nord Stage 3. All the same functionality exists, it's just the configuration of some of the things they've uh, essentially simplified it a little bit for the newer versions. All right, so that's an interesting piece of trivia there. So I'll initialize mine to organ, which will turn the organ engine on and turn the piano engine, synth engine off and reconfigure everything so that we're ready for the organ. All right, simple enough. Now, the settings here, this is the secret sauce that makes this sound uh, as close to the original as possible. And this configuration is not something I did by ear. This actually comes from uh, people who have studied the original settings and have configured it in this way. So for this, the, here's the key combination, 6886000000. All right, so let's do that. We'll put the first draw bar to six. I have the digital draw bars, but yours will work if you have the manual or the physical draw bars. 6886000000. That's the secret sauce. Make sure you have it set to B3, obviously. And then vibrato and chorus off. Percussion on. You want the percussion on. You want to take off that harmonic third. You want to make sure that the decay fast setting is off. You want a slow decay. And you want the volume to be soft. So percussion on. Volume soft, decay fast off, harmonic third off. So that's the percussion settings, that's the drawbar settings for the B3. Uh, with the rotary speaker, technically the rotary speaker is at a standstill for the intro part of the song. The rotary speaker kicks in later in the middle of the song, right before one of the choruses, and you'll hear it clearly that the rotary speaker is on and there's a roll up and so forth. But You'll want to turn on the rotary speaker, at least my opinion is that you actually want the rotary speaker on, but you want it in stop mode so that there's actually no rotation happening. And that should get you uh, pretty close to the original. And I'm also putting on some drive, just enough to where you barely hear the influence of it. And I'm thinking between a four and a five here on my Nord Stage 3, but your drive setting if you're on an electro, is gonna be over on, in your effects section, and your four or five might be different than my four or five, so you're gonna to have to use your ear and uh, tweak that to get close to what you like. Um, put a little reverb on, so for me on the stage three, I'm gonna put, uh, I think a stage, uh, stage one reverb with a five or six on the wet dry setting should do it. And as far as the bright goes, that's going to be up to you. I'll put the bright on. I tend to like the bright 
for the reverb setting. And again, if you're using an electro keyboard, your rotary speaker is going to be over in the effects section. And if you turn on your rotary speaker on an electro 5 or 6, it should automatically turn on your rotary speaker on the, on the effects section. All right, that should be it. Let's listen to that. That sounds good. And that is the original setting. Okay, I wanted to take a moment and talk about one other important part of the song, and that's the build-up to the fast rotary part. So it comes in like this. And then right here, the fast speaker. Slow it down here. And then it repeats. Now you can feel free to tweak it. The This song, uh, its original interpretation of it, uh, or the original creation of it, has changed with every artist that re-records it. Uh, to the point where I think Annie Lennox doesn't even use uh, an organ. She uses a more of a synth sound, and I'm not sure the organ solo, or the synth solo in this case, uh, is even true to what it was originally. So it, it really is interpreted by whatever artist is recording it, and likewise, you as a musician who you're either going to play this uh, with a band and you're trying to get it as close to the original original version as possible, or you might be doing one of those flavors like Annie Lennox or Joe Cocker, uh, or you may uh, want to do your own interpretation. There are really dozens, maybe even hundreds of videos on YouTube right now where people are just playing the chords and kind of making their own version of the song. It is a wonderful song. Uh, but it is nice to have a Nord Stage 3 in this case and be able to duplicate that sound as close to possible as the real thing. And again, this is a testament to that B3 emulation uh, provided by Nord. So what are the next steps here for this discovery video? I'll give you a quick homework assignment. There are three additional videos not related to my channel that I think you could watch for this. If you want to learn how to play the solo, this particular video here, and I'll put, I'll put a link in the description, and there should be a card window here that appears at this time too. This video by this person does a really good job of explaining how to play the entire organ solo part or the entire organ and accompaniment part. Now. This video is a person's mastery of this song, um, what you'd call perfection. I mean, other than the original artists themselves, I would say this person does a great job of really uh, nailing it in terms of both the sound on an original B3, as well as the interpretation and the playability and so forth. I noticed there, that there is some sheet music there, so perhaps he's reading from sheet music, uh, which is no slight against him. It, it really is a great work of art here that this person has done, this musician. And finally, if you're not interested in learning it or really hearing anyone else play it, do yourself a favor and watch this video. This video uh, might even bring a tear to your eye. This really brings the song um, by the original artist, in fact, with a full symphony orchestra. And my gosh, by the end of this, you will be, you'll feel like a new person. I love it. I think it's good. It's partly Besides Mike's suggestion, it's partly what inspired this video uh, to come to fruition here. And like I said, these discovery videos, it's all about taking me back to a time where I heard the song and it washed over me. I sort of ignored it at the time. Now, in my older years, these songs are having way more deeper meaning, especially when you start to learn them on your instrument and try to imitate them. So hopefully you can agree with that and you want to share some of that uh, enhanced life with me on this channel. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, stay tuned. We've got an interesting one coming up for the holidays that I think you might get a kick out of and um, all kinds of other discovery videos and much more to come. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you soon.